Hello YouTube, hello Facebook, hello the world overall, my name is Morgan Gavin, and you know what time it is? It's time to let's play. Oh yeah! Hi guys, Leafy is here, and you wanna know what? I'm gonna kick so much ass today. Alright, nah, enough of that, Leafy. Now why don't you tell me why, you know, Keemstar is, you know, so dead set on cotton you. Oh man, I, I just... He's jealous, man. He's so jealous of all my growth and all my subscribers. It's like, oh my god, he can't even, he can't even fathom it, you know? I gotta take him to court because he's alleging that I am botting my account. And I'm not. I'm not botting subs. I don't fucking bot. What the hell's going on here? Alright, All right. no one's calling you a botter. But I, I play against bots in my video. Well, those are bots in Doom. But they aren't. Damn, I know. I, that That's the mystery. Why are, are you taking Keemstar to court because he bought your ham? Oh my god, that guy stole my ham? Man, I really am gonna have to go nuts. I really am gonna have to... Whoa, chill. Before you do anything like that, just hear me out. Maybe you don't want to go after his ham. Oh my god, because we all know that Keemstar is deathly, you know... He's addicted to ham. He is the quintessential ham feister. He is what people would call an addict of ham. If there were a uh, uh, sex addicts anonymous, he would be in the freaky part of it that no one else wants to talk to. He would be the part of it that would just be like, Oh my god, enough man, enough, enough. I get it, I get it. He's he's addicted to ham, but that's not why I'm taking him to court. So why are you? Taking him to court. I'm taking him to court because he's making false accusations about me on this channel and in his uh, news broadcast. You know, hello, this is drama alert. Ba ba ba. Yes, I I'm well aware of that. So I'm taking him to court because you know it's a false allegation. What he's doing could seriously impact the re the revenue that I generate because of my videos and everything, because that's the bottom line. I need subs to make money. I, yeah, but it's usually the views that make money. I know, so what, will, what do you think will happen if, um, if, you know, ow, shit. If word gets out, or people start to believe that one of their favorite YouTubers, um, me, is, uh, you know, botting their account just to pad their subs. Man, it could really impact the, the level of revenue. Really? I, I didn't think about that. Of course you don't, man. All you see is the whiny videos going, hey guys, Keemstar is here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da so, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take his stupid phony ass to court and if you know if need be I, I'm I'm really thinking about, you know, I'm really, really thinking about um making this a class action lawsuit. Really, I mean seriously, there is no doubt in my mind that people would definitely get behind this if, uh, you know, the, the big names were affected by his videos. And there have been a lot of people affected by his videos. Oh, do tell, do tell. Well, he, he, you know Keemstar, right? Yes, I think everyone's familiar with his uh, style of work, if you can even call it that. Well, you know... Keemstar is, he's, he, po he posts himself as a news channel, right? Yes. And, you know, for the most part, he, he covers decent topics, but at the same time, he just gets increasingly angry. He's like, uh, Tobias in a way. Um, Toby Turner? Yeah, yeah, in that weird rapey kind of way. No, well, yeah, when it comes to ham, but, um, what are you talking about? Well, okay. He's, if uh, you're not familiar with uh, Toby Turner and his, you know, mentality when it comes to attention, like, if you pay attention to him, like, positive attention, and if you absolutely agree with him, with, like, the way he uh, purports to, you know, go about things, he will love you dead. However, however, if you're more successful than him, he'll start to, you know, claim that you betrayed him and start making up bullshit lies and everything else. 
Also, wow, that sounds pretty serious. It is serious, man. It is so fucking serious. You would not even believe how many people have been screwed over by Keemstar. I mean, you know, you know this lizard. Yeah, you know the the pink you. Yeah. Well, um, here's the thing. You know, yeah, every once in a while I'll get messages from subscribers about fan fiction and everything. And you know, it's it's kind of fucked up. It, it really is. But at the same time, and at the same fucking time, it's like, it's like what the hell? But I, I, I'm kind of cool with the fan fiction, but at, because it's not, it, it, you know, what, uh, it's what, um, I'm not even sure what the word for it is, but it's not hurting anyone, it's not affecting my uh, sub count, it's not affecting my revenue, in fact, it's not even insulting, but what do you mean to say what Kim Stark is doing is insulting? Yes, exactly. I mean, he's up these false allegations that uh, I'm every every uh, video every skit is fake that I'm paying someone else to do it and my, my subs my views are are one in one are exactly what they need to be um what do they to be even man even they are fucking even unlike your videos god they make me want to drink bleach and fucking hang myself god your Sucks so much. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're talking about Keith his inability to, you know, differentiate between what is right and what's wrong. But yeah, you, you seem to get the picture here. That is, by and far, just the worst person in the world. Well, it's, it's widely regarded that no one really likes her, but, you know, he's a parent. Well, yeah, he's a can become, become a parent. Hell, a dead parent can become a parent. But, um, what's really messed up is the fact that I fear for his kid. His kid, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I don't, I'm actually scared for her. You know, later in years, what? Do you, uh, she's gonna go on YouTube, search around for a little bit, and then all of a sudden figure out that, oh, oh this, this does this. So if I want to please him, I gotta be exactly like him, and then she starts spreading rumors and everything else. That will come back to haunt her, haunt him, because he'll be like, oh, "What's all this bullshit then?" And uh, it's not gonna be pretty. It's it's just not gonna be pretty at all. Well, you do raise a lot of good points. Of course, I raise a lot of fucking good points. What think you think I'm a pink cushion? You think that uh, people make good me? Well, apparently the fans think... Never mind what the fans think. This is this is real talk here. Real talk. I need to take Keem to court. I'm playing around with the idea. It's not official, but I need to take Keemstar to court because, you know, I need to defend myself, man. It, it, it's the classic case of cyberbullying on a workplace level, and the fact that he's jealous of my subscriber uh, growth, just in the last couple of months, I've gone from 1 million uh, subs to 4 million now, that is potential growth, you know, everyone's right to be suspicious about one thing or another, but the thing to remember is this, you know, the thing to remember is this, no matter what's gone, I am innocent. Of course you are. Of course you are. So, that being said, you know, just, you believe me, right? Of course I do, man. Everyone believes you. The, 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 trolls overall uh, are assholes because there are two different types of drama channels. There are drama channels that, you know, point out what the hell is going on, and then there are uh, uh, drama assholes who, you know, Keemstar, Keemstar, and, you know, it's, it's that kind of channel that YouTube desperately just is trying to get rid of. Ever since that whole Milo situation, yeah, I heard about that, the whole freedom of speech thing and everyone getting pissed off because, oh my god, da, da, da. yeah, well, here's the thing, even though Twitter is based in the U.S. and everything else, and, you know, freedom of speech on the net is, you know, is that they do have terms of service which prohibit certain behaviors, and that's what they were uh, punishing the, uh, Milo's behavior because of, of, you know, what, 
how bad that the trolling had gotten. Yes, he had tested the boundaries. Yes, it is protected and sacred. But at the same time, you know, yeah, I get the point, man. I get the point. No need to drag it down into the world of bullshit and uh, everything else. Because, you know, I'm not blind. I'm lying. Of course you are. Of course. So, what, what, what are you saying? What I'm saying is that, you know, despite... Oh, shit. Despite everything that's going on, if you make this into a class action lawsuit and look for uh, people to testify on your behalf against Keemstar for all the shit that he's pulled, all the lives that he's ruined, then you will be striking a major blow against, you know, cyberbullying and everything else. Yeah, th that, but people call me a cyberbully. Well, you're kind of an asshole, but you're not an asshole in the love team star. Yeah, I guess, you, I guess you're right. Of course I'm right, man. So, like, thank you once again for appearing, uh, for having this interview with me. I know, man, I know, right? Yeah, it's kind of awesome that, you know, big tubers like you can uh, find the time in your schedule between recording, writing, uh, because I got to the rants of yours are absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And, uh, you know, keep up the good work, of course. Uh, are you ever going to do a rant on me? Well, if you piss me off. Well, or what? Others? No, it's generally people who piss me off that it's about. Because, um... I don't know. I don't know. I have a certain audience, and they uh, enjoy the fact of what I do. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's a thing. It's a thing. So, what are you saying? I, I'm not saying anything. I just, you know, in person, I'm a really decent guy. Really decent. You, you would absolutely love the shit out of me. Like, absolutely. Like, Keemstar would love the shit ham. Like, literally, he would just start dropping it like no tomorrow. And I've got to say, I've got to say, you know, the ham, the ham would be a shame of the axe that Keemstar would pull with it. Yeah, that's kind of a, that's kind of a weirdly big deal. I know, right? By the way, thanks for coming up with that meme. That was so Jason Sartorius of you. The fuck? Yeah, that's, that was like, I don't know, Backstreet Back tonight. You know, 90s album reference. Oh, right, of course. Because uh, you're an inspiration. You are a meme. You are the living meme. Like, the fucking living meme. And yes, you know, there are going to be people out there who try to make fun of you. But all, you just keep kicking ass, no matter what. You just keep sticking your face into the internet. And it just keeps loving you forever and ever and ever and ever, and ever. That's, uh, that's nice of you. No, it isn't. It's not nice of me. In fact, I, I'm fucking done with this. What? Yeah, I know. I'm bored. Yeah, me too. Alright, so thank you again for watching, and, uh, I guess, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, fuck you. Bye bye So, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, hit that like button, and if if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button because I'm always uploading new content for you to enjoy. And as always, I will see you like a beast in the next video. Bye.